What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we've got what I think is going to be a pretty cool video. Much to the dismay of, but with the permission of Mrs. Rifleman, I spent some money and bought two boxes of ballistics gel from Clear Ballistics. The one box is the 9mm test kit number one. It comes with the FBI block, which is 16 inches by 6 inches by 6 inches, and six different types of defensive ammo. So we'll be demoing those today. The other box is a second block of the FBI spec ballistics gel and a mold. So I don't know how many blocks it'll take to stop the 9mm. I'm hoping we can stop it with two. But we'll find out today. And I bought the mold, like I said, so that I can reuse this gel and hopefully use it in some future videos. So today we're going to be using the Smith & Wesson 9mm shield. This comes with an 8 round magazine that is extended. Gives a little bit more grip for your hands if you've got big hands like I do. It also comes with a 7 round flush fit magazine which for me kind of leaves my pinky hanging. So I prefer the 8 round. That's what we're going to demo this gun with today. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright everybody, so we're unboxing our clear ballistics gel. First box that I'm going to open is the FBI block and the mold. So this is the mold. So, a little note says it may have imprints from the packaging or the box. You can easily remove any imprints by passing a heat gun or hair dryer uniformly over the surface of the gel until they're gone. A lot of other literature. Reusable right out of the box. Promo code. Remelting instructions. This is to remove all foreign material from the gel. Spray the empty mold with 770NC mold release agent and let dry. Tear or cut the gel into small pieces. I'll make a video on actually reheating this a little bit later on. So let's keep going here. Packing slip and a warning that hot gel will cause burns. This is the clear gel. Says that the gel blocks are manufactured in batches and poured into their respective mold. This gel was manufactured the week of 3 8 of 2021. Total penetration of the 177, excuse me, 0.177 steel BB in this batch was 3.25. 10% ballistics gel. The FBI standards for calibration is 0.177 steel BB at 590 feet per second into the gelatin with a total penetration between 2.95 and 3.74. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is amazingly clear. So this should make for a pretty good video with this ballistics demonstration. Next, we have clear ballistics 9 millimeter test kit number one. Also come with ballistics gel and our test ammunition. 
And I should also say, I did not buy these at the same time. My wife was gracious enough to let me buy the test kit first. And then later I convinced her that I should probably buy a second block just in case. And she reluctantly agreed. But this was manufactured 3-1 of 21. And with the same .177 steel BB test, had 3.25 inches of penetration. Let's take a look at the ammo that comes with this 9mm test kit. Also, let me say I am not being paid or sponsored for this video. This is money that I spent to bring some content for all of you. So, here's our ammo. We have two rounds each of six different types of defensive ammo. We have the ICC Green Elite. 9mm and I'll put the sizes and ballistics information in the comments below. Have the Winchester the Federal Premium Spear And our lovely Idaho weather has decided to be sunny, rainy, and snowing all at the same time. This is the Hornady. And the SIG ammunition. So, let's get started on this video before the weather gets any different here. All right. As you may have guessed from the last segment, I drew a blank on the type of ammunition that we had. So I went and looked it up to remind myself. First up, we've got the Green Elite from ICC. And it's a 100 grain hollow point. Let's go take a look. Okay, so our ICC Green Elite frangible hollow point actually performed pretty well with about 11 and a half inches of penetration. I'll show you from the top down here. So how well you can see here, but that round and it looks like we actually might have bounced off the bottom of the cardboard here and kind of came back up but that is a mean round all right round two winchester 147 grain pdx1 defender have a look. Our PDX-1 Defender Winchester round. Looks like we got a wound channel that goes 18 inches, so two inches into our second block. However, the round is stopped. I don't know how well you can see with this glare. The round is stopped right at the 16 inch mark. All right, our third round is the Federal Premium. 150 grain HST hollow point. Let's have a look. Our federal 150 grain HST. Looks like we've got 14 inches of penetration. Our fourth round is the Spear 124 grain gold dot.
spear gold dot. We have a wound channel of about 14 and a half with our round resting at 13. It looks like it tumbled a little bit. And you can see it's kind of facing backwards a little bit. Yeah, there it is right there. Fifth round, it's Hornady, 135 grain, critical duty. Hornady critical duty made 17 and a half inches of penetration. This is into our second block. Also looks like it tumbled a little bit. But don't tell Mrs. Rifleman this, but it looks like I was right buying two blocks. <laughs> our last round is the SIG 124 grain V crown. Go take a look. Okay, our SIG V crown has 16 inches of penetration and looks like it stayed pretty true. It might have tumbled a little bit. Our ICC 100 grain green elite. That frangible round actually did quite a bit of damage. So all the fragments are still inside the ballistics gel. Next, we'll dig out our Winchester. Well, we don't even have to dig it out, it's right here at the edge. This is our Winchester PDX1. 147 grain defender. Federal 150 grain HST. There we go. It's quite a Quite an expansion on that. Held together very nicely. This is the Spear 124 grain gold dot. It's expanded quite nicely and held together pretty well. Here's our Hornady 135 grain critical duty with the Flex tip. Not quite as much expansion on this, but it did get deeper penetration than any of the other rounds we shot. Last is our SIG 124 grain V crown. It expanded pretty nicely, held its shape, mushroomed out very nicely. So there's our ballistics test with the clear ballistics 9mm test kit number one. Alright everybody, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Today was kind of an interesting filming day. I filmed consecutively all in one block of time. And you'll see in the video just how crazy the weather has been. So, it, it, if you don't like the weather in Idaho, wait 15 minutes, it'll change. So, but I gotta say, I'm really impressed with Clear Ballistics and the product that they made. And that 9mm test kit that they put out, it's really useful. And I think we got a lot of good information out of the different ammunition that we shot today. 
And I'm going to just say right now, I'm not being paid or sponsored by anybody, not Clear Ballistics, not any of the ammunition manufacturers, not Smith & Wesson. This is all my personal opinion and my personal money going into this project for all of you. So, I got to say, out of all the rounds we shot today, I'm probably most impressed with the ICC Green Elite. That frangible round really, really did a lot of damage in that gel. So, I'm really impressed with that and I say I'm also pretty impressed with the SIG um, V Crown because it went the furthest of the higher expanding rounds and held together very well. So, pretty impressed with both of those. And I got to say, I'm really impressed with the Smith & Wesson Shield. It was quite a fun gun to shoot today. Really slim and sleek. It's got a very slim profile, pretty lightweight. It's all around very comfortable gun to shoot. So Smith & Wesson definitely made a good product here. And uh, I know there's a few newer versions. Again, this is the Shield, not the 2.0 and not the Shield Plus. Be curious to check those out with the new improvements and see what improvements they've made there. But I had a lot of fun shooting today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you all have a great day. God bless. We'll see you next time.